of uh, starting with a new game, we start with a pre-made save, which is the first auto save that the game makes when you can control for a character. So, um, three, two, one, go. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is kick a kick code a lot. That uh, skips some pieces dialogue. And it's uh, pretty useful in this game. It's pretty broken. We're gonna use it a lot. For our special stats, we need uh, 10 endurance, 10 charisma, 8 intelligence, and 9 luck because we need to maximize our speech skill as much as possible because there's gonna be a very hard speech check at Megaton. Um, endurance for safety and intelligence for leveling up faster. Uh, I'm gonna do a trick called truck strats. We use it with any person, but uh, let's try it here. <laughs> okay. Not quite oh. the right setup there, no? but yeah. yeah. I practiced it, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's only a minor time, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. And we open this door with the strength for baby. And that's the first quest done called Baby Steps. So we jump nine years ahead to our fans' birthday party, but uh, we're kind of antisocial. So we're just gonna bail out. Oh, no. There we go. Because uh, birthday party is our name, it's uh, not for us. And we meet uh, our boy Jonas downstairs, our favorite character in the whole Fallout series. What are you doing down? And that spawns behind us after talking to him. Are you ready for your surprise? And we get the BB gun for um, a combat tutorial. Hey. Also, we shoot Jonas because he walks to this room a bit faster. You need to shoot three targets, then a red bush will spawn. We go first try, easy. Yes, Good aim work. and shoot. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me and push that to his place. And uh, there's a second quest done called uh, Going Up Fast. Again, uh, jumping ahead in time to our 16th birthday to take the goat. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Okay. So, he goes through some walls. Let's keep saving, keep loading again. Well, you and take the goat. And instead of taking the goat, we're just gonna skip it by just picking the right options. And we tag three skills. Tagging three skills means that it adds uh, like 15 extra points to that skill. And we tag speech. Uh, for the speech check I mentioned, explosives for disarming the Megaton Bomb, because you need 25 explosives points for that, and lockpick, because we need 100 lockpick. Come on, you, um, you got skill. Okay, so, oh. we start the first main quest called Escape, talking to Amata and getting a 10 millimeter gun, then voiding out, then punching the air, uh, because if you punch the air, uh, NPCs won't talk to you, because it um, marks you as busy. It's also useful in real life, just punch the ear and uh, people won't talk to you in the street. Yeah, voiding out is basically just respawns you at the set point on the map. So we use that to uh, get further ahead in the, in the map. Yep. Oops. <laughs> and this is how we get to the end of the vault section, like in like four minutes. Yeah. So that uh, completes the quest, uh, Escape, which gives you a scripted level up to level 2. And uh, we are heading to Megaton. Um, but uh, we are talking, we are walking uh, pretty slow now, so we need to fix this soon, because otherwise it's going to be a pretty boring run. So we put Exploded 25 and rest goes to Speech. That is Girl. Um, only thing matters in this run is the skill points. Um, the perks are mostly for safety. Uh, doesn't matter too much which, you, which one you pick, but uh, I pick specific ones. Um, so here's Megaton. And, uh, okay. So 
So we're waiting for uh, Lucky Harry Cycle, who is a traveling merchant. There we go, he has a. There's a missile and a missile launcher. And we sell uh, H team packs for that. Just gonna equip it. Make a hard safe here. And I'm gonna do the best glitch in the entire Fallout series, I think. Got it? That was pretty fast. Yeah. So I unlocked the uh, sprinting option in the game. <laughs> this one is called Speed Cripple, uh, which lets you go pretty fast. So I disarmed a Megaton Bomb. Technical difficulties here. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. So this one, Megaton Bomb. Hey, I hear you. And then I'm gonna do a quest called um, Best and Survival Guide, which can be pretty long, but uh, turns out there's a speed check right at the beginning. So, how's this get? Which only has. Uh, I'm gonna reload this because I confused myself on the dialogue options. Hey, I hear. So there's a 41% chance of uh, speed hmm. check here. Could be. So how's the scabbing? And every time I fail it, I sure thing. Just gonna reload that. Okay. Yeah, I ideally want to so get this first the try, but. Uh, Random is random. Second try is good. We got that. Also, I pick up the f uh, holotape, which is the first clue for the quest, the replicated man. Then, fast traveling back to Megaton uh, to save some walking time, talking to Lucas. Sims completes the quest. Uh, the power of Atom. And we are done with Megaton. Okay. So, uh, Speed Triple is a weird glitch in this game. Um, you have like a speed attribute given to, to your character and when you get crippled you walk around like a 60% of your normal speed but the way it works is that the game resets your speed to zero and then it compensates to like 60% of your normal speed but I made a quick save and I reloaded that quick save uh, right when I crippled myself so the game got confused and it stacked that crippling speed onto my normal speed so I walk 60% faster now, but only in uh, first person. In third person, I still crippled. Uh, it's pretty funny, uh, but this is like the only very useful speed tech in this game. Uh, so right now, the second biggest RNG in the game, which is checking these uh, vending machines for Nuka Cola Quantum. And normally, you want the outside ones to have one, but uh, you have to farm one now from the inside one. And the way it works is that. Spawn items set in the game when you first enter an uh, interior cell. There we go, got it. Was pretty fast. And uh, it has a 10% chance of a spawn, so I just made a quick save outside and uh, and then just saves come. Uh, so keep that in mind. We have a quantum there. Uh, it's gonna be useful for a magic trick later on uh, involving a quest about quantums. If you played this game before, you probably know which one. Okay, so next uh, stop is uh, the coast place. Right there. Uh, gonna have a friend lose it to the cove. He has a special key for the quest. You gotta shoot them in the head. Uh, okay, so by the way, this category uh, can be really arbitrary, <laughs> but the way this is it, that. We complete only the mark quest in the main game, so no DLC quest and no unmark quest because unmark quest is just really arbitrary and DLC quest has like other categories. So it turns out that if you complete all mark quests, then only 31 of them. So 
That's the main quest and the side quest. Okay, so let's have a friend lose it to Duco. Friendly visit done. So I'm gonna pick up uh, uh, at least 30 empty whiskey bottles. That's also for a magic trick later on. Okay, so. Um, the reason I, why I killed Duke for the quest, you gotta shoot them in the head, but you need to kill like three keys for a guy named Mr. Coley in uh, uh, the museum. Mm, what is it? It's the museum of history. Yep. Uh, and uh, I killed one of his girlfriends because we need to have bad karma enough to enter um, Paradise Falls a bit faster. It saves like three or four dialogue lines maybe. Uh, if you have bad karma, and uh, as I said, the whiskey bottles are for um, the magic trick later on. And uh, the first like 30 minutes of the run is uh, not that interesting in terms of uh, things happening because it, you're just um, discovering faster locations and uh, like start quests, but you know don't finish them. So there will be like a big. Uh, big time where we just don't complete quests, but uh, this is important because in this game you can't fast travel unless you discover places. So discovered Jefferson Memorial, which is going to be important for later on. And we fast travel back to Vault 101 and head north. Um, yeah. So if we have a uh, some messages to read, now it's a good time. I was just gonna ask you. Uh, we have a five dollar donation from Nirvash saying, I hear you want a donation to read, so here is a donation to read. It's quite a read, isn't it? Thank you for reading this donation. If you read it, I will donate another donation. Save the children, ESA summer 18, and don't forget to drink Red Bull. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, so the next stop is Big Town. Uh, if you discover this place, you start immediately, immediately the quest called uh, Big Trouble in Big Town. And there's a swag uh, parkour jump here. From the mailbox, first try, easy. It saves six seconds, otherwise you have to go around this place uh, and discover it. Hey, who so this you? guy tossed to you, doesn't matter too much. And we had to RFU. What's happening in RFU? So RFU is uh, uh, we start the blood test quest. We're gonna knock on some doors, which is uh, super important and exciting. And uh, yeah, we just have a nice walk there. Uh, All right, so there's gonna be a scripted explosion here, but uh, we can skip it. I know normally you don't usually do this, but uh, I'm gonna do this <laughs> just for showing off this strat. So I need to oh. unbind my unbind my uh, right mouse key for that. Oh, you press defaults. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Big oof. No, it's fine. Okay, that scared what? me. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, okay. That was scary. <laughs> okay, so this, which is called time stop, we just skip this scripted explosion here. Hang on, you're not one of them. Now, what the hell are you? And <laughs> we start the quest. Uh, uh, blood ties. Okay, I'm gonna. Not press default. Uh, so how 
much time did you save on uh, on that skip? Like a second, maybe. Not sure. Oh. And how much? Uh <laughs> just wanted yeah. to show you this. Well. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. Just uh, I don't do this. It's Some a good. It's a good glitch, but not really useful. Yeah. In this category. What the hell? This is like the only place where you can do this, probably. Yeah. So we need to check three families here if they are okay. By knocking on some doors. It's nice to see a friendly. They are okay, nice. Let's check the third family. Hope they are okay too. Oh no, they are uh, asleep. Oh well. Rude. So this is a trigger for uh, spawning Ian at uh, the metro station where the families, um, they are a group of like wannabe vampires and uh, the son of this family who's dead uh, is with them and we need to either convince him to join with us and come back to your RFU or just stay there and if you don't do this uh, knocking on door things then he will just won't spawn and you have to go back here and uh, even gives you clues where they might be and uh, actually one of them is Northwest Seneca station where we need to go but we just discovered a place for fast traveling back later because the problem is you can deal with the family but our gun is pretty bad right now and we need to find a better one uh, because the gun Amata gave us is a 10 millimeter gun it has terrible aim and like terrible damage uh, so we're gonna find a OP gun later on and the next up is uh, Paradise Falls. For um, more importantly, just discovering the place, but we also gonna start the quest strictly business by doing the karma speed check here. So we have bad karma right now. Hold it right there. So we can do this karma speed check here. There we go easy and we got the mesmatron and uh, slave collar and this quest is about so this is a slaver place and the quest is about enslaving vip slaves for this place for like rewards and uh, normally you need to mass people with a mesmatron and put the slave coral on them and like have a little dialogue with them and the problem with that quest is that you need to do this one by one and returning this to this place all the time. But instead, it turns out that if you kill three of them and only enslave one, then you can still complete this quest. And uh, and uh, if you kill all four of them, sadly the quest fails, so you don't want to do that. And uh, the four people are uh, uh, Arkansas <laughs> from Minefield, uh, Red from Big Town, Flag from Rivet City, and Susan Lancaster from Tampany Tower. So you can place your bets, uh, like which person we're gonna actually kill and which one we're gonna enslave. So we discovered Germantown, also a festival location. As I said, this is just a walking section about discovering uh, locations and stuff like that. Um, if we have maybe one or two donations, then we can read them out now. We definitely have we definitely had have some. Okay. We've got a five dollar donation from Swax the dog saying, "Oh my dog, good luck, Salmon. Please no ten penny soft lock. Oh my <laughs> dog." Thanks, Swax. We've also got an anonymous five dollar donation saying, "Salmon face reveal pock champ." Also, good luck on the runs. Thank you. Thanks, Swax. So Swax is the other runner of this category. He spent a bunch of time routing this uh, and, uh, he's a good dog from Australia so here's Arkansas, first guy I'm gonna kill him there we go, easy um, so he's off that checklist I mentioned for stick to business quest and uh, and uh, yeah, this is no. This is the yeah. We're gonna we're gonna use the ten minute gun once more, 
some runners like don't use it once more i just use it once more and but we're gonna get a better gun now uh, which is pretty op and uh, which makes combat much easier so we are playing on very easy just because um, we can do combat faster you can play this on harder difficulties it just doesn't matter too much um, but uh, that's not really that hardest part of the run. Uh, oh. oh, nice! We got the Ireland's. <laughs> we got the uh, that good luck spawn here with the alien crash. So there are random encounters in the wasteland here, uh, and uh, we got good luck with that. It's really rare that you get the alien crash with the unique weapon there that I didn't pick up. So here's the um, the actual, not <laughs> not random uh, alien crash, but the actual one that's always here, which is uh, which always has the uh, alien blaster, or as we call it, LML blaster. And uh, it's pretty OP because it has a hundred percent chance of a critical shot every time. Also, it's an energy weapon, which is generally OP in this game. So we pretty much just gonna one shot kill enemies throughout the run, and we don't have to worry about combat anymore. It's uh, pretty good. So next up is Vault 92, where you can see the uh, totally intended uh, <coughs> movement and uh, not uh, not at all out of bounds stuff. Is pretty much intended. Yeah, this game really shines in interiors rather than overworld. Yep. Because you can do a bunch of clipping. So, I'm gonna pick up a fission battery here. That's gonna be useful for a later quest on. And we're gonna clip out through this door. Just go out of bounds, reach this door out of bounds. Clip here, and we're gonna grab an item with the help of the third person interaction glitch. If I can do this, nice. And we're gonna void out, and there we go. <laughs> so we need that violin for uh, Agatha's song, which is a quest where you need to collect a, a very unique violin. Uh, funny enough, we're not gonna meet an Agatha for this quest. Uh, spoilers. Um, yeah, and the third person interaction glitch is uh, pretty weird. We don't really know how that works. It's just uh, if you go into third person and tilt your camera because it's not centered on your character, it has like a weird hitbox and you can just grab items through walls. It's, uh, it just happens. <laughs> okay. Okay, oh. no death claw, death claw boost. So we went through all the only, which is like a bunch of um, death claws are there. And sometimes you get get a boost, but it's pretty scary because your health will be uh, like you can get you can get your limb crippled, and uh, it's pretty monkass. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done with the very long uh, walking sections. The next stop is. Um, Republic of Dave, where we collect the second key for the quest. Yeah. You gotta shoot them in the head. Um, if you remember, we killed Duko for that earlier. So normally you go to the front door and a uh, little kid stops you and they just let you in after that. But we're gonna take the back door, which is totally intended. Here's the back door. There we go. We're gonna take uh, the special key from Dave. Really friendly guy. Need some help with this I'm gonna take the back door to just escape. So these guys are aggroed, so I can't fast travel away right now, so I just need to get away a bit. And this is the last time I used the 10 millimeter gun. I'm gonna equip the alien blaster and make sure not to drop any important stuff because that would be deadly. There we go. So I fast travel back to minefield, and uh, next up is. Uh, Temple of Union. So this is a 
skip I found. <laughs> so, no, uh, so back in a day with the old route, we actually, um, so there are some slaves at the Temple of Union, there are some slavers at the Lincoln Memorial, and we talked to the slaves beforehand and took the quest from them, and we just betrayed them later and returned to this place and killed them all, and that was the fastest option. But it turns out that before taking this quest, you can just um, you can just uh, kill the leader, and uh, when you return to the slave slavers at Lincoln Memorial, they're gonna be like, "Nice, you did you did it. You did what we wanted to ask you, so the quest will be completed." And this is like the thing in this game. Usually, you can complete quests by just uh, without starting them and actually doing objectives, pretty much. <laughs> Not all of them, some of them require some triggers, so you try to do the optimal in every quest. So here's the leader. Nice. First try. Top tier aiming with this gun. So he's dead. Pretty much that's the quest done. And uh, next up is Canterbury Commons, another quest called uh, the Superhuman Gambit. Uh, so this can be also like a pretty interesting and long quest, and you can mess around here. But all in all, they just have like a problem with each other, and the town is pretty pretty pissed, and they just ask you to solve their problems. So we're gonna solve their problems. Again, with the power of friendship. So it's the antagonizer and the mechanist. The two superhumans just dress up as like cosplaying. Are you all right? So just take the quest. And we're gonna solve this problem. With our problem solver here. There we go. <laughs> And level up, putting all points to lockpick again. And there we go. So since one of them is dead, With all of that fight they don't have any problems. So the quest is done. Just need to return it to this guy, and that completes the quest. There we go. So here comes the magic trick. Here comes the fun part. So. We need 30 quantums for the Nuka-Cola challenge quest. And uh, there's one quantum here. That's not enough, obviously. There we go. And now we I have uh, 40 quantums. Those monsters, they're, they're That's bad. <laughs> um. Should I do? <laughs> yes. Go. Yeah. Okay. So I messed up. Um. Doesn't matter if you don't do. Okay. So. Normally you can just run past him and uh, complete the quests uh, when you're done with the whole uh, ant killing things. But uh, even if he talks to you beforehand, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I just um, not used to this. Okay, anyways, so I just duped Quantums with the duping glitch. That was found by Kong, actually. Uh, it's pretty useful in this run. And uh, beforehand, we we actually collected Quantums uh, throughout the wasteland. And the whole route was based around that. So once we found this glitch, uh, the route has changed quite a lot. Okay, so talking to Brian, uh, started the quest those. And uh, which involves just killing fire ants in this area, Grey Ditch. So, 
Talk to this guy. Good talk. Good talk. Just to take the terminal password here. And um uh, gonna send the inhibitor pulse from this terminal here, which kills the all of the fire ants outside. And we need to talk to Brian uh after that. So the problem with that I was afraid that he is pretty hard to find. Hopefully there won't be any problem with that. He just follows you normally if you don't talk to him beforehand. So it's pretty convenient. I just fast roll back to the metro I just entered. Come on. Let me just clip out here so we can skip the backtracking. There we go. So COC warping is good for this basically. It's just the game teleports you in a specified position and we can skip the backtracking pretty much. There are some enemies nearby so I'm just gonna clip inside here so I can walk away from them so I can fast travel. So I walk to here. Might be at Super Duke Martin. Yeah, he's there there. Cause normally he returns to Grey Ditch. There we go. No! I'm not talking. Just taking their top option. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. No, you follow. Uh. <laughs> okay, I have a safety save for this. I think I have to use this. So Ron is invalid now. I'm not sure what happened. So normally he follows you. And there we go. It was so weird. So we did the quest. <laughs> There we go, we did those, totally legitimately. <laughs> okay, this has never happened to me before. So, we need to clean this place up. From Kitars there. There we go. So uh, another like combat tech is just instead of reloading, I'm gonna unequipping the gun and re-equipping it, just because it just instantly loads the gun for some reason, and it's actually in Fallout 4 as well, so they never patch this. And the reason I need to clean this place up is because. It's because of the quest, um, Waters of Life, much later on. Because normally, uh, for the Waters of Life quest, the scientists ask you to just uh, go here, but they realize that there are some super mutants here, so they just ask you to heal the enemies here. And... Uh, if you don't do this, then they're gonna be waiting outside. And since there are a bunch of like enemies outside as well, they're gonna be fleeing from them and they their AI will be just really messed up. So we just kill them. And if you fast travel back here with the scientists for that quest, the, um, they will be just teleported inside so they won't be aggroed. So it's pretty important if you do this. I just checked it with like waiting. So if, if I miss something, then then I just uh, make sure it's it's uh, it's good. Is there time to read a donation? Sure. We've got an anonymous ten dollar donation saying, "This is literally my favorite ESA run of literally the best game ever." Thank you for your donation. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, things things went a bit wrong, but we are fine now. <laughs> so discovering Rivet City. For press running here later, and we're gonna enter the metro station here at Anacosta. So you can see the first first uh, iteration of the metro stations in this game. So we open this door that saves two seconds. That's the best threat in the game. Hope you enjoyed it.
so yeah, the game design is a bit, um, how should I put it, lazy. So if you learn this category, you will find the same layouts, especially in ma the metro stations, uh, so you can get lost easily, but uh, thankfully, I hopefully I won't get lost here. So but then we just need to walk through here to get to downtown DC. And uh, go to the Museum of Technology to get the relay dish for the quest uh, Galaxy News Radio. So I just void out here. That COC is back here. So the relay dish is important because uh, for the Galaxy News Radio quest, uh, Street Dog, who's a radio DJ, gonna re request you to come back here to get and install the install the relay dish to the Washington Monument. But you can just collect this relay dish beforehand before talking to him. That's gonna be completely fine. There we go. We took the relay dish from the Virgo 11. Uh, just the first vehicle that landed on the moon. Apparently. I'm sure it's not that too in the Roman numerals. Yep. So, um, technically we can't install the relay dish right now because it's like um, the gate is closed and you need to get the terminal password from 3Dog. Oops. And uh, I, I tested this kind of that if you clip inside, you can still install the relay dish. It starts the quest, but when you return to 3Dog, he just won't talk to you. He won't have any dialogue. So, um, uh, pretty much that's soft the quest. So sadly we can't do this right now. Uh, it would be cool, but uh, you need to carry around the wasteland this uh, relay dish for a long time. So uh, I talked about head of state quest. We're gonna complete it now. Talking to the slavers, just uh, gonna complete that quest. Can I quickly chime in? Sure. I would like to remind you of Chrono.gg. They are one of our partners, and today they have a Darksiders deal where they are selling Darksiders War Master Edition, Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition, and the Darksiders 2 Definitive Edition soundtrack all together for just $5. A lot of this will go to charity, so head over there, look it up, and buy some Darksiders. Thank you. So the game crashed. Yeah, it's a pretty. Well, it's not a famous spot, but it's known a spot, a known spot. Yeah, sadly. So the problem with that is that I lost the speed switch, so I need to reapply it. Yeah, whenever you like exit the game or uh, guess your leg is crippled again, the glitch is removed. That's why this hard save exists. Try again. So sadly, if you can get it, uh, I just gonna just quit the game and because it just erases the memory of the game. I don't know how it works, but sometimes you can get it. It's a really dumb glitch, to be honest. Got the breakable one. Not sure what's happening now. Oh, why can't I get it? Try again. Search try.
I'll move this one. Let's see. There we go, fresh ray. Okay, so sadly I have to walk this section again because I didn't quick save there. Uh, that was kind of unexpected crash because I don't usually have that. Um, anyways, so anytime the game crashes, I have to do this sadly, which I uh, just lose this time, but uh, yeah, hopefully it won't happen too much. Can I read a quick donation? Sure. We've got a $20 donation from Run Like AJ. Someone help! 20 bucks went out of bounds from my wallet. I hope it'll motivate my homie, Salman, and will help those kids who really need it. I wish luck for every runner at ESA. Great games and a wonderful cause. Have fun! Thank you, AJ. So as I said, uh, before the game crashed, we complete the head of state quest. Finally, hopefully, Without game crashes. Make us safe to be on for sure. Yeah. yeah. That's close there we go. No crashes, nice. I think it happens because I'm Leroy Walk. The guy's uh, voice land up ahead doesn't really play correctly. Yeah. It just crashes. Yeah, the yeah. Windows 10 and the audio is just yeah. in this game is just not gonna work out together because this game is like ten years old and uh, Windows ten is uh, not a stable system for this game. So how are they code this game? Yeah. yeah. I need to patch patch some stuff in this game. Anyways, uh, discovered the Museum of History. Also a festival point. And we're gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Uh, that's for the quest stealing independence, I think. That's what it's called. So if you have uh, guys some Nick KG modes in the chat, then you can post them. Where is Sydney? She's also after the uh, declaration. We're gonna help her. Crippled. That's fine though, because it's just on the arms. There we go. Let's team up. Goodbye. Hey, you only need her for the password. She's useless. Yeah, and we kill her because she becomes a temporary follower at this point. And for the next quest, we're gonna do is uh, blood ties. And uh, there's a weird quest trigger there. If you complete some of the objectives, then if you after that, if you kill any of the like family members, then the quest will fail. So and uh, Sydney likes to shoot vampires, so that would be bad. So let's get the Declaration of Independence. If I can clip through here, there we go. Come on. So this is also uh, intended. <laughs> Get this door. Get this guy for his password. That opens the uh, strong green doors. And one of the saves is the Declaration of Independence. There we go. We got it. And to skip the backtracking again, I'm just gonna see OC warp back at the beginning. This clip is pretty hard. I don't like this clip. It's stuck in the door. Or was it? Desk. There we go. We did it. Just escape and fast travel away. We finally gonna do the blood ties quest. Do we have time for a quick donation? Sure. We've got an anonymous $7.77 donation. Also, I would like to remind you of the Flying Harrator cutscene incentive for Yakuza 6. Um, if you donate, you we can see or may not see a baby that gets 
gets passed around like a hand egg. It's like a really, really funny cutscene. We just need around $300 more to get it. So get in those donations. Yep, thank you. So, um, so we killed that ghoul because he wants to talk to us. And we don't oh, want to talk to him. Slipped. And talking to this guy just opens this door. Here's the family. Uh, so for this quest, you need to convince Ian from RFU, as I mentioned, to just either stay here or go back to his uh, hometown. And uh, he's behind a locked room, so we need to get also the terminal password. And again, with the power of friendship, we got the password from the leader of the vampires. So we can open this terminal, talk to Ian after opening this door. I thought I heard guns. And at this point, if you kill any of like the vampires, the quest will fail for some reason. So that's why I needed to kill Sydney. Wow, that was really fast. Nice. That's usually a very hard clip. And fast running back to RFU to talk to Ivan about completing the quest. There, she is. there we go, we did it. Good job. And I'm doing the old route. So, okay, so a quick trivia for this category. So, back in the day, um, we used to run any percent only, or like. That was the only category, and with Speed Triple, a bunch of new opportunities came to just uh, making new t categories. And a runner, really good Fallout 3 runner, Pro Gaming with that, came up with the idea of this category. <coughs> and he called it uh, Vanilla All Quests, I think. Because there is Mocha All Quests, but I'm not going to talk about that category. And um, other runner, as I mentioned, Swags the Dog, worked on this category a lot, he took the world record and uh, with the old route and all the, all the basically the route was about collecting the quantums and all the quests was based around that so when we discovered the duping witch like people got uh, pretty scared because we thought that we need to just read out the whole whole run and it would be terrible so the run, like this run was like that for like a year but I took the bullet and rerouted this with the duping witch. It was a solid route, but not that optimal. But uh, once I did runs, uh, Swags returned to the community and helped me find uh, new strats along with Kong. So I think it was this year's January. Like we literally found strats day by day, and uh, it was crazy. <laughs> and uh, finally. Uh, when we stopped, then we could do actually like runs. <laughs> but um, so there's a 15 minute section here that was like found in like it was like the last thing we found or Kang found it. That if you do this uh, 15 minute section in a different order, you can save like 10 seconds maybe. Uh, but at that point, we did so much writing, I refused to learn that <laughs> because of that 10 seconds. So I'm gonna just do this because of muscle memory. Um, and by mean old route, it's like late January and uh, the new route was in like early February. So I just, uh, yeah. So. Um, Still got the most important strats in there. Yeah. yeah, it's just a minor optimization, really just, uh, I got uh, bullied a few times <laughs> for that. Uh, so I discovered a little lamplight that's also a festival location. Um, and we had actually gonna head back to the main quest um, by finding our dad finally, Liam Neeson himself, uh, in uh, Vault 112. So um, the interesting thing here is that normally the game wants you to find your dad by looking for clues. And there's two quests for that called uh, Following in His Footsteps and Scientific Pursuits, where you need to go to Megaton and then um, do either the Galaxy News Radio quest or just skip them, skip it by like the speed check and going to Rivet City. 
uh, talking to Dr. Lee. But if you find your dad accidentally, this is like totally intended, then the game still rewards you for like, like still things that you completed those quests. So it's gonna be completed. Uh, I think those two quests are completed then. And uh, so you don't actually need to complete them to actually make them finished. So it's pretty cool. Skip right here. So, for this quest, which is called Frank Little Lane, we need to enter a simu simulation, uh, which is pretty scary. It's also a pretty long quest, but uh, if Welcome. you activate the fail safe, then uh, you can skip the majority of it. So, I uh, use the third person interaction glitch. It doesn't save time, but uh, it looks cooler to enter the launcher with uh, just climbing inside of the launcher, I <laughs> think. So, it's a simulation, and um, the problem with this is that you just become a kid, and that means your character model changes, so we lost the speed triple glitch. So we need to reapply it, and that was the main reason I actually made that uh, save before Megaton. Uh, so this is the fail safe I activated, and that accesses the Chinese invasion problem mm, program, and uh, it's gonna kill the residents here. Very loud, by the way. Yep. Audio warning. There we go. The, the People are saved there by just, uh, they are killed. I guess they are saved. saved me. I don't know. So we saved that. Nice. That uh, forwards the main quest. So I lost the speed glitch. But get it back. So lockpick to 100, repair. And toughness. Intentionally quit the game, so it makes getting this space cable back probably easier. So you've seen the screen a couple of times. But it was not intended because the game crashed. But this is intended. So let's save. Hopefully we get it fairly fast now. I'm gonna have to restart the game. Breakable one. This patch is pretty stupid. Yeah, there's like two versions of it. Uh, one where you can uh, carry the glitch through saves, and one where it doesn't uh, carry through saves. And uh, obviously, you want the one that does carry through saves. So we have no clue <laughs> what impacts it or how it works. Yeah. So can, I can I do a quick donation? Sure. We've got an anonymous $36.69 donation that says, I said come in, don't stand there. 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 I said come in. Happy hunting stalkers. I think someone got their franchises mixed up there. Finally, okay, got it. So the good thing about this glitch also is that it um, it's transferable to other save files. So you just I just needed to um, get the Megaton save and get the speed glitch, and I just reload this auto save, so I can continue the run. So hopefully this is the last time I have to apply the speed glitch because apparently uh, I have trouble with it on this PC. Also, we get this uh, like gray thing here, like from the simulation. Because for some reason, if you f like you skip fast enough, you still have this effect, uh, but just goes away after a couple of seconds. Okay, so 
as I said, be collected Surrey Nuka Cola Quantums. And we're gonna turn them in now for Sierra. Sierra Petrova does the There we go, we did it. So we also get a bunch of money from this and that's gonna be enough for later on because we need to spend our money on uh, some stuff. Oh no. And stuff includes uh, slave kids and uh, repairing the gun. Yeah. So there's a quest later on which involves actually uh, saving some kids so conveniently uh, with this marathon, we are helping uh, Save the Children Foundation, so yeah. we have a quest for that here too. We're actually going to save some children in this game. But next up is Tempany Tower, and uh, hopefully we won't get Soflog here. Uh, during practice I haven't got it, so that's a good sign, but uh, yeah, this run went a bit like yeah, I, I expect a uh, soft lock here, but uh, I have a safety save for it. It's gonna be fine. So this quest involves, uh, so there are some residents here which were like really racist towards ghouls. And some ghouls wanna get into Tampany Tower because it's like a fancy place. And uh, you need to resolve this problem also. And you know, there's a, way to f resolve things fast enough so you have to choose sides but the fastest thing you can do is just kill the ghouls because you need to only kill three ghouls in this run but if you side with the ghouls you need to go kill i think all of the residents and there are like like 20 or something bunch of residents here so it's obviously uh, slow and here's susan lancaster and Yep, she's here. Nice. So she's the only one gonna enslave. I, uh... There we go. Oh my God. She's so enslaved. Okay. Even though everyone gets uh, angry at you there, they will just forget about it next time. Yeah. It's a really bad thing that what you did, but we just gonna uh, return here and uh, they forget about it. Kill the second ghoul. If I can void out. It's tricky to kill. First try, nice. Let's get the third ghoul, who's the lady ghoul. I forgot their names always. I uh, look, look them up before marathons, but I forget them. But you need to kill three of them, and I know where they are, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so, cross your fingers, no soft lock. There we go, just gonna wait for this pop up. There we go, no soft lock, nice. So sometimes the game just won't register that you kill the ghouls and uh, just won't progress, even though you killed all three of them. So it just, I don't know, I don't know what causes this. It happened to me like the most probably out of the runners. We're just going to return to Tempany Tower and turn in the quest for this guy. Hmm. No soft lock, nice. And we turn in Susan for the slavers at the Dice Falls. Susan thought she could gonna level up. Repair. Body mass. So, the next quest is called Rescue from Paradise. We need to save the kids, as I mentioned. Um, so they are from Little Lamplight, and um, again, you can do this like pretty like multiple ways. But the fastest one to save the kids is just buying them from the slavers and just releasing them. That's why we needed the money mostly. There we go. Both the kids. Also, uh, by the way, I'm negating full damage by quick swimming quickly. Also, what the hell? 
away. So talking to this kid. Pardon me. And that's gonna complete the quest. Well, I guess that's They just warp together <laughs> for some reason, it's funny. So here comes the very hard lock that we need the hundred uh, lock pick skill for. So I just force locking locks because uh, I can just quick save before them and just reload that save. But um, yeah, every time I fade the lock breaks. So I got pretty lucky here, obviously. Marathon lock. So I have a 10% chance of the force lock and I just did it like 20 times. Good job. Come on. Okay. This one is a better lock. With a 60% chance, but You're rescuing me? still messed up. <laughs> so, we rescue Red for the quest Big Trouble in Big Town. Also, we I picked a... Here's a second clue for the quest, the replicated man. You pick the right dialogue options and the only thing matters here is that you don't save uh, Shorty. Huh. It's also it? captured. And pick this option. So um, you completed the big trouble in big time quest, but there's an, like a side the objective, like which is not really part of the quest, but uh, you can teach the kids there to defend themselves from the super mutants and uh, one just one option is just to not to help them and it turns out that it's like so, such a bad thing to do that the game just does a scripted event where after a few in game days some uh, super mutants will just kill all of them and uh, that kills red and killing red means that he, she's off the list for the strictly business quest so you don't have to enslave her and uh, Shorty is like he's also uh, captured and there will be a pop-up for him that he died and that will be the indication that Red is also dead so that's when I know that I did it right um, it's a pretty cool way to complete this quest to be honest in my opinion so next uh, stop is Oasis. But you need to talk to a uh, talking tree. Uh, obviously. So instead of going around this place to discover Oasis, I'm just gonna clip inside the rocks. Um, it's faster. And uh, you just discover the fast, like, fast travel location. Just fast travel there instead of just going through. Come on. There's a bunch of invisible walls there, which just makes movement a bit harder. But we did it. Outside so if I you played so uh, Fallout 1 and 2, it's a character named Harold. And he's like a mutated person. And he gets so mutated that he becomes a tree, and these like people worship him. You have no but he just wants to die because he's just really old and just a tr tree, basically. He doesn't want to live like that. So you're just gonna drink some drugs, I guess, and you're gonna meet him. And turns out you can destroy his heart which is like deep underground, but it turns out that if you uh, kill him with a fiery weapon, you can also like kill him. And we still have the missile launcher earlier on, so... So audio warning, forgot to mention. So it just is dead, it's just pretty sad, but... Uh, that's the way faster than I had other options in this quest, so that's also this quest done. And Rivet City, finally. Yeah, drinking a sap also here's to the full, so that's pretty good. Yeah. So 
I don't have to worry about health for a while, maybe. It's also a good thing I discovered this place. Normally you have to talk to the intercom to release this bridge, bridge but Is there if you first travel here, just it's gonna do it himself. I don't know, it's just weird. I think it does that after you rescue that. Oh, okay. So, we hopefully get the circle for the quest, the replicated man. Nice. You're in the Revit City Clinic. So he's the circle for the quest, the replicated man, and it's really important that you do this way because it spawns Veronica Watts here. And she will give you the fake Android component. Um, I don't have time to explain this quest. It's really good if you play it casually, but we're gonna skip all of it. Uh, so we're gonna talk to that. He's here. We're gonna advance the main quest. And talking to this guy and giving him the fake Android component will complete uh, the replicated man finally. Hello. And uh, Hello, honey. we're gonna complete uh, two quests with this person, Abraham Washington. He's like a collector dude, and we give him the Declaration of Independence and give him the um, violin for Agatha's song. So you can uh, return the violin to Agatha, but that's slow. So we just sell, sell it to him and it completes the quest for some reason as well. Uh, repair to 75 is important, then leveling up from now on just wastes time, pretty much. Okay, I have to wait till um, 9 a.m. for the shop to be opened and uh, so the NPCs I need to interact with are in place and consistent. There we go. First of all, kill test rare. No, no, Rip. Hey, <laughs> he has the third key uh, for the. You gotta shoot them in the head quest. So we are done with the key collecting. And uh, since it's 9 am, Fleck is here. We need to kill him again for the strictly business quest. So these people are mad, but uh, yeah, they are pretty pretty bad person. Nice, we can pass travel. All right. So hope you remember that I opened this door earlier. That's why it comes handy. You can just go through here and void out. And we're gonna uh, discover the ranger compound for the quest rallies rangers. We're gonna do some stuff beforehand, but uh, we're gonna the just discover this place. So I can just fast travel here after I complete the quest. Oops, no, not here. There we go. But before completing that, completing that quest, <coughs> we're gonna finally complete the you gotta shoot them in the head quest which is was just the key collecting this can be also an interesting quest but it's just you need a bare min minimum for it and uh, that's gonna be it oh and we're gonna fix our gun just because um if your gun breaks in this game it becomes unusable and we still need the um alien buster the hell did you wake me up? If you mess this dialogue option up, then it just won't talk to you anymore. So you have to reload the save for this. There we go. Just gave him the three keys and that completes the quest. Do we have some time here? Yeah. I would like to remind all of the viewers of the flying Harutu cutscene incentive. You can still donate this. Uh, donate to that for the Yakuza 6 run to see a very funny cutscene. So get in those donations. We will need about $300 to reach that, but I'm sure we can reach it. Yep, thank you. Oops, no. So I just go out of bounds here, jump on this pile of frogs, jump here. 
and jump here. So it saves like two seconds, I think, at most, but it looks cooler. So auto bound is always cooler. Yeah, there's a bunch of floating buttons in that area. Yeah, for some reason. No one knows why. Right. So we discovered Chevy Chase North, also a festival location for later on. But we can enter Chevy Chase East, yes. For Vernon Square. So this is like like the least favorite part of the run for me. Because there are like hard clips here and there and it's like a maze to get there and you can get lost if you like started out learning this run. So Hopefully I can void out here because that's important. This clip is hard. Come on. Well, let's try here. Come on. Oh boy. Well, I think I have another setup that I just practiced. Not sure if it will work. No, it won't work. Come on, get stuck, nice. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Not sure what's happening. Just can't do this clip. I don't want to cheat. I want to clip. There we go. Wow. It took forever. And yeah. So it just teleports you to a better place here and you can just walk here to the end of uh, Vernon Square Metro. So there's the Statesman Hotel where the trapped rangers are uh, that we need to rescue. But you need to go through the um, hospital first. So this section is like a whole big maze. It used to be much worse than this because we have some out of bound stack here now. But uh, it was really just pretty, pretty bad. It's still, still easy to get lost. It's a bunch of super mutants here. They can shoot you, but it doesn't matter too much. And you go out of bounds here, if you can, there we go. And just walking here in like invisible floor, it's pretty scary. There we go, we got it. You can fall easily if you don't know where you're going. But we need to go back in bounds. So just make a hard save here, just because if you void out here, then uh, you've teleported back to the start, and it's not good. So we need the 75 repair skill for this like, elevator fix here. I'm just gonna void it out here again. Again, this is pretty bad clip. There we go, did it. And we are at the roof of the Statesman Hotel. Pretty fast. So there's our rangers, we need to talk to them. Hey you, get your ass. I've never seen them that Cut far forward before. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> and we need the fission battery I picked up at Vault 92 here to fix this elevator. So it skips some walking sections pretty much. And we need to kill the super mutants here, otherwise the quest won't progress. Fast rolling back to the ranger compound I just discovered. I'll wait for an hour, so it actually forwards the quest. Hopefully, there we go, no problem. I'm talking to Riley. Yeah. 
You look like you've been through. There we go. We finished this quest. And Jefferson. So we jump back into the main quest with uh, completing Waters of Life. So as I mentioned, if I don't clear this place up, they're gonna be waiting outside, but thankfully I did well and they are inside. And we have to do some mini out tasks for that. Here we are. Uh, messed up again. <laughs> Dialogue. Yes, yes. Okay. Got confused there for a sec, but first mini out task is just turn on the flood control pump power, apparently. This is my favorite quest in the game. Yeah. We have to go back and forward several times. Yep. So I can't skip it. So just flipping the switch. Pretty hard job. We did it. Do we have some time then? Sure. I would like to take this time to thank one of our sponsors, which is ViewSonic. ViewSonic is supporting the event with all monitors for the streaming area and a large amount of practice monitors obviously with minimal latency for speed and accuracy. So, thank you for all they do for us. I've been hearing good so the next mini out task is uh, getting the fuses from that and changing some fuses in the fuse box. Thankfully we can just wait out and uh, Keep the walking. Was I healed up with like sleeping for an hour? Because healing up in like sleeping in this game just heals you up fully. Even if you are like have a crippled limb, it's just gonna be healed if you sleep. So you can just nice. So you can just clip here and access the mainframe. So, last mini out task is uh, turn on the what is it? Uh, intake pipes, drain the intake pipes. Sorry. So hopefully nothing goes wrong here. And come on, there we go. Just void it out there. Skip the backtracking here. go we did it hope nothing goes wrong as I said oh no oh wow oh, oh no the enclave is here what what we gonna do come on so sadly the enclave is here need to deal with them and they captured the scientist Try to do the skip again here, but it saves time. There we go. So you need to go kill this guy because otherwise he follows you here. It's gonna be bad for later on. Kill this guy too. And we enter a cutscene here, which is like a pseudo cutscene be because you can still interact with things. So you're not supposed to talk to Colonel Autumn here. So it doesn't have any dialogue, but if you do this with the third person interaction glitch, he just skips all of his dialogue lines and you can skip like a bunch of stuff here. I grow yes, I'm Hope nothing goes wrong. Press F to pay, pay respect <laughs> for that. So he just sacrificed himself for the good cause here. And we're gonna escort the rest of the scientists to the citadel. 
And we're gonna do a skip here called Dr. Liz skip, which can be pretty hard. We need to escape. Don't wander off. We're going to need you. And therefore I have a safety save for this as well, in case I mess this up. So normally you have to escort them and there's like a terminal window where if you need like if you have like a hundred science skill you can open it but normally Dr. Lee opens it and it takes like a minute it's pretty slow so we don't wanna wait for that we're just gonna <laughs> down her it's okay she's just sleeping yeah she's not actually dead she can't be killed now so uh, if you're fast enough you can access this secret door here and you can skip that like animation of her opening the that uh, door and if you just run to the end they will, will just teleport it there for some reason and it uh, saves like yeah more than a minute Got it. Yep. Nice that didn't spawn inside each other. Yeah. So during practice, I saw this quest. But uh, thankfully, that didn't happen. Okay. So normally, you need to go to the citadel for the next quest, but we're gonna skip that part. So it doesn't matter now, I just put into energy weapons because why not? And um, so two side quests left and the rest is just main quest. And normally you have to um, go to the citadel and search for the location of the GAC, which is like a military thing that like creates life out of nowhere. And that's supposed to help us just uh, fix the purifier to work but we skipped that part also you need to fight some super mutants here and the behemoth but if you're fast enough you just skip it and it looks like it's all clear yeah it was all clear yeah. like no fight at all yeah. so uh, finally talking to Street Dog everyone's favorite uh, character so that's where we tell him that we actually have the relay dish before he's trying to give us the quest. So now finally we can install it to the Washington Monument. And this is the only terminal here where you don't need to press the power button to exit from it. Just. Uh, Fun, fun trivia for you. <laughs> and take the elevator. So, again, uh, some good uh, elevator design in Fallout 3 that the panel is moving even though like this thing is not or something like that, but it looks cool, weird, I guess. Just a floating panel here. Nothing to worry about. So, this like the relay dish finally. Heading back to Street Dog. So the problem here that still enemies outside that Street Dog will flee. And sometimes he's like a bit hard to find, so it's like there we go. It's it's a good RNG here. Hey, alright. Yeah, and if you quick seven quick load right the uh, and talk to them fast, they don't have any time to react. Yeah, um it I did it with the Sierra back there. Ju just squeezing the clothing just negates that. So last side quest actually coming up and then it's all main quest from now on. Hopefully we'll be on the rest of it still. <laughs> so uh, for this quest um, we return to Vault 101, our home hometown. And uh, do the travel and home front quest where uh, things went wrong after you left and the uh, overseer become a uh, bad guy it's a nice way to put it and Amata just talks to us to just 
come here and like help us solve this we're a problem server you have like good problem server skills as as she heard so we're gonna solve their problems and uh, we got the fastest way to solve their problems is activating the self-destruct in the vault because that's obviously fast and uh, a good way to solve the problem so they just leave and nice shorty has died so we completed strictly business right now oh no we got this glitch where the ash pie just disappears in the ground so shorty has died so i completed sh uh, strictly business as i mentioned that was the indication so i activated the self-destruct here so i just shot because uh, the overseer wants to talk to you and it just prevents him from talking to you you don't need to kill him just to shoot that's enough and we're gonna escape the vault once you escape the vault the quest will be completed I'll walk around out of bounds here because the door isn't actually open and Emma Thor wants to talk to you yeah the layout is actually the same as you escape the vault but the seal like the interior cells change so the COC locations are not the same. Yeah. So you need to do a different strat for that. So as I mentioned, normally you look into the terminal at Citadel and find Vault 87 here. Turns out that you don't need to. We don't really know it's intentional or not, but if you just start right this quest there, and talk to Magridi here, it triggers that quest that you can actually pick up the GAC and it just progresses that quest that way uh, it's weird so this is the pass where the any person route and the all quest route uh, process passes because for any person you can go here and just complete this uh, end of the main quest like that and it any person run is like 15 minutes long long or something like that um, so what I'm doing now is called swim in air. I just made a quick save out of bounds in the water and I returned in the water and quick loaded that save. And that uh, stores the memory of my like swimming state. And you can just do this infinitely. But the reason why I did it just to access this door faster. So this is murder pass. This, this section of the run is kind of scary uh, I will I will actually try to do the uh, any person threats here because why not just show them off no more games. so first trick is rock boss <laughs> beating rock boss can be hard but actually practice, so hopefully I can do this fast enough. So just go out of bounds here. Climb this rock. There we go. The three stitch door. Nice level off screen. Doesn't matter now. Do we have time for a donation? Sure. We've got a five dollar donation from Three Dog saying, hey guys, this is 3Dog. Oh, we'll donate another $5 if the runner couch does their best 3Dog impression. Ow. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's, that's my best uh, impression. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Um. So let's get the gag now. So normally you release folks here and he gets the gag for you, but that's like super slow and it just wastes time. But it's like the one thing that you can do is just you get it yourself, but there's a bunch of radiation here. So no. <laughs> Come on, quit inside. There we go. Quick save, nice. And get the gex through the third person interaction glitch. I need to be super fast here. Nice. Oof. First try. So opening the like the gag chamber is like 
10 seconds long, so we skip that by the third person interaction glitch. Audio warning again. And just void out after getting it. And uh, you skip and you get this uh, unskippable cutscene, which is like the only one in the run, maybe. Because the enclave takes you and the gag. And I think two quests Not remaining, well so Make sure the Gek is secured we're almost at the end. This is also a good time to read something, yes, if you have anything to read. Yeah, I would like to remind you of Sigma IT Consulting, one of our partners. They, are, they love gaming and love making a difference. They're supporting ESA was a no-brainer as it combines all of the core values of Sigma, all for a better tomorrow. Thank you to them. So, you're all right, so we're going to have a nice chat with this guy. It's really polite. Skip dialogue. Here's the president. We need to talk to him to get the FAV virus because uh, the president wants us to just uh, contaminate the purifier. But you don't have to do that, actually. But you still need to take the FAV thing. So for safety purposes, <laughs> I opened this locker to get my stuff back because um, things can go wrong still. So I need to get some steam packs for safety. Normally just Retreating. void out. Okay, so we need to meet need to best president by walking through here, but there's one skip that we can do also part of any percent called presidential door clip. No. Come on. It's pretty hard. I'm usually good at this, but yeah, so yeah, you can skip this like fight there. But yeah, it's a pretty hard clip because you need to clip outside and it's a pretty hard clip and you need to clip back inside immediately. So it's not that easy to do. It saves a couple of seconds only. We go, here's the president, we just talk to him and get the FAV. What do you got here? And I need to go here because there's an invisible wall there. If I don't do this, or not an invisible wall, but, th but yeah, there is an invisible wall. Yeah, it just falls through the void because it's just not rendered here. So I just take this left side for safety, and hopefully things will go right. Nice. Didn't get uh, Dwayne the Raven, Rock Johnson. Death there. Yeah, he carries a missile launcher and can easily cripple your legs. Yeah, happened to me during the marathon. That was fun. Hey, as long as you quick save and quick load, you should be fine, right? Yeah, if you quick save and quick load, um, it resets their uh, like attack animation and they just won't shoot you, but you have to be pretty fast. All I'm saying also, I just voided into this cutscene. The more time they have to shore up their um, Void inside uh, Sarah because she is just standing at the COC point here. So this is the last quest. This is just actually activating the purifier. Just skipping dialogue here. Before we get started. And. Uh, I don't need any armor because it just weighs me down. So, for this quest, um, we just activate uh, Liberty Prime here, which is just this robot, and you need to walk around, and it just takes forever. And uh, that's how you take take back the purifier. But it turns out that you can just skip that part. I just run to the end immediately. So 
So I can't move right now, I just need to wait for... Get back the player control and just run to the end. So we are really close to the end now. I'm just fast traveling to the Citadel to save the walking time here. One last level up, it literally doesn't matter anymore. Um, so uh, there has been several times that I died here. Um, the most frequent thing is that you get so much radiation from the gag chamber that if you swim here, you just die here. And uh, that's pretty bad. But yeah, I have enough. And uh, one other thing is that I once clipped inside the pole here, pole there at the Jefferson Memorial, but I couldn't get away, so that was uh, also pretty unfortunate. And also you get can get radiation at the very end by pressing the buttons at the purifier, so that was also happened to me once that I just died there. So it's still not over yet, but it's like 30 seconds left of the run if things won't, won't go wrong. So get ready on time. Come on. So it turns out that all you need to do is just talk to uh, Colonel Autumn Hill here and uh, Here's the trigger for actually you can press the buttons which you have the code for which is 216 and 216 time. <laughs> time. And uh, the way we verify the run is just reloading the, this quick save and look at the general tab and we complete its third request and that's that means that the run is good. Even though I reloaded the safety safe, so the run was invalid. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so before I say goodbye, I just uh, wanna thank the Fallout community. If you are interested in learning any of the games, we also have Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4 in the marathon, so uh, you can check them out as well. And Again, the old quest guys, uh, Pro Gaming with that, uh, Swags the Dog, uh, Kunk here, uh, and this Jabo, who is the world record holder, uh, definitely uh, him. And also, quickly to the Hungarian speedrunning community, thank you guys. Uh, we are a pretty small community. We had a runner at uh, HDQ, and now I'm here. So, hopefully, in the future, there will be more uh, Hungarian speedrunners in like on uh, online or like on-site marathons as well, so if you're interested, we have a Discord server, if you're Hungarian. <laughs> and thanks for uh, thanks for letting me be here. It was a fun marathon. Things went a bit wrong, but uh, it was underestimate, so it was fun. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the marathon.